Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Nasa. And this is Go Go Ladies, a podcast about navigating life, love, and so much more from a 40 plus perspective. Fight the power. We got to fight the powers that be. That's a perfect song for election. It is the perfect song for election, but it wasn't your best. I know you little sick. T- it t- wasn't. <laughs> but like, I really fight the power. Fight the, you want me to do it again? You didn't have the. Do you want me he to, was uh fight the power. Do you want me to do it again? I mean, you should do it again. Okay, do you want to count me? Okay, three. I'm keep this in there too. Two. Fight the power. Fight the power. We got to fight the powers that be. Hey. <laughs> I listened to that on the way over here. Really? Yeah. All right. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome. Uh, Where are we both sitting, though? I know. Quick, (laughs) quick, quick disclaimer. As you were listening, um, I am on the other side of a upper respiratory infection, sinus infection. I get them once a year. So my voice is a little raspy, and I may be prone to coughing during this episode. It might be a cough laugh, but... That does happen. I have my water. I have my Kleenex. And then Nasa's also... I got the little sniffles. I'm trying to avoid the sickness like the Matrix. I'm in here ducking it like Neo on the bullets. Hey, okay, let's um, get it. Yeah, I'm trying to... Mm-mm-mm. Okay. I got yeah. things to do. We, and I, and I, right. I've been in the streets. I've been outside. You've been outside. And I need to sit down. Right, you <laughs> so, do. But I, don't, I want to sit down. I don't be put down. You know what I mean? Cut. G- mm, Jesus. Come on. Woo, Come Lord. On. Mm. Let me learn some things. Come on. Life. Yes, Finally. yes. You know... Mm, I yes. felt that. Okay. Where yeah. have you been, friend? Hi, twin. I know. That's what I should say. Where have you been? <laughs> Nobody loves me. Nobody. Like you do. Nobody. <laughs> Had no idea that song was about her kid. Did you? Yeah, she's in an interview. She said that. It's about it. I know. Your face. Fix it. Okay. I mean, I get it because when. When Maya became a Delta, yes, me and Asia were like, Twin. yes, <laughs> we're happy. We're happy. Yes, that you open yes. Now. and nobody loves you like your mommy does. Exactly, cause mommy loves you. Ma- <laughs> okay, really quickly, mm-hmm. go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share. You can find us Do on all, all the things. platforms, and we're on YouTube, social media, all of that. Yes, so go ahead and do that. Please do. We're glad to be back. Yes, and you can get the merch. Yes, on our website, goladiespodcast dot you gave the sexy Donna Summer. Do you know I? Oh, I'm sorry, my Diana Ross. Fault is always sexy. It, it is, is always it Diana is Ross. Always Diana. Yes. I don't know if it's always sexy. It could be sultry. Okay, it could be sultry. Yeah. It's the S. Either it way. is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. We've mm. missed each other. Nace has been all the way outside. I don't uh-huh. see in a month of Sunday. Let me tell you, October came in. Talk to me. And mm-hmm. and I just held on. <laughs> I said, put my seatbelt on. Hello. Let's just go and for just the ride. Go. That's go. what I did. Yes. And that's what I did. So, October, hmm. my birthday. Month. Yes, honey. But before that, okay. it was TSU's homecoming. Right. Then it was Howard homecoming it's slash birthday. Yes. Then it was my cousin's birthday. Hey, girl. Yeah, if you haven't gone and seen Nasa's videos about this cousin's birthday, Go to her. Go go to Myriad. That is me. I was in the eyes wide shut, y'all. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> and you was texting me the whole time. And I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> You're like, I sent you pictures. <laughs> yeah, it was. But let me shout out the Silbach Hotel and their old-fashioned. I'm not even an old-fashioned drinker. Right. We go together real bad. Okay. <laughs> real Specifically bad. that one. Yes. Though. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Shout them mm-hmm. out. They were. I was like, okay. And now I see why you the best <laughs> Now, was this like a, a signature drink or you ordered yeah, Well, yourself? I mean, no. The Old Fashioned like is a signature drink that the Silback does. Okay. They're known for it. Oh, I've never okay. had it there. Okay. And so I was like, let me go ahead and try it while I'm here. You got to try it while you try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got that and I also got like, you know, me a Roman Coat or something. Yeah. Because I didn't like it. Right. So then I drank it. I was like, well, I like it though. <laughs> I went back so many times to my bartender. I said, hey, girl. <laughs> Queen, run me another one. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And okay. you get two at a time because the line be long. Uh huh. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then she gets with two cherries. Can't tell me nothing. Okay. You know, I like a cherry. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. 
gosh. Okay, we I know do. what you're doing. I love the Usher came cherry in with on the, the cherry. cherry. <laughs> I would. Mm-hmm. I would. Be but I'll be mad the at the video. I'll you like, will be mad because you're going to be on the video. I want to do it, but I don't want to do it on the video. You're going to be all in the I video. I know. So now I got to be all kosher and exactly. be like, thank you, fine sir, for this cherry. <laughs> thank you for the cherry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's the ghetto. It's Dead on <laughs> cell phones. <laughs> Such Gen X. I know. I don't want to do everything for the gram. No, I know. I know. Some I'm things I want to live in the, my Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. Yeah. It's All better. y'all don't need to know. <laughs> and don't. <laughs> and don't. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, what yeah. else? You, you've you been everywhere. I have. So, yeah. homecoming was good. Right. It was really, really good. Um, Just good vibes, good times, good yes. fun. You know. Yeah little day party action so right I saw you there so last time i saw you it was i know well then we recorded we had shannon if y'all hadn't watched oh, that's that right, episode that's right, that's right shannon lake yes super cruiser all yes. over the world world traveler yes so we yeah. we did we did that but then you went to tsu 2.0 in dc in dc y'all i know how are big mad at me i know <laughs> i know I, I, showed out i know um and i understand it mm-hmm. right yeah i've even seen some uh alum who are clapping back and it's so cute yeah um they were like y'all can't hold us on this this and this nobody said your academics wasn't top notch right absolutely it's all love in the hbcu yeah, world it is. y'all it got is. six tubas though y'all ain't got no grammys six i'm not i'm just saying and no grammy i'm just that's not that's right. not yeah that's not straight that's fact that's Okay. You know, fact based. Yeah. Yeah. Felicia, y'all got Lance, y'all got, mm-hmm. you know, Travis, y'all got things. I'm not knocking your things. All right. Right. I'm just going to say okay. that when it came to the event mm. of homecoming, yeah. Blue was there. Oh. Roar City showed up. I, I saw and heard. When we sang, I'm so glad on the plane. The it's soul early. Plane. Yeah. It's early yes. in the terminal. And I'm like, Blue, Blue. But all, you know what's we're up. all here. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When the host hotel is the lobby is the club. Yeah. We all here. TSU the museum. Yes. We all yes, here. Like it was a TSU takeover. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, this is this was a great time. It was, yeah. a, it was a great weather. Mm-hmm. It was just a good vibe all okay. in all. So um, now, I will say Howard left money on the table, the vendor specifically. Okay. Um, they have a lot of vendors out there. I like the way they set up on the yard. Like, it was yeah. a really good homecoming setup. Okay. Props to them for that. Yeah. Um, but the vendors only had like a TSU item because I don't think they understood mm-hmm. how much we travel. Yeah. I think they're used to, you know, Howard Hampton, yeah, that yeah, whole yeah, thing. Yeah. But they don't understand that we pull up too. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so we're like, well, where's our stuff? Yeah. And they, I'm like, people try to spin bags. And yeah, it's like, yeah. Mm, nothing. Nothing really. So I'm like, okay, well. Yeah, I missed an opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, now we play them for our homecoming mm-hmm, in 2025. Mm-hmm. And... I've been told that they don't travel like that. Mm-hmm. We'll see what they actually do. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've heard that they yeah. don't travel like that. Um, and you have some, I mean, they're all over. So you course. may have alum from Atlanta. Of course. Or you know what I mean? Who still might come. DC itself might not yeah. come. But, you know, oh, the HBCU yeah, network I mean, from the other cities. Who yeah. live here. Yeah, true. Out. You know what true. I mean? So, yeah. I mean, but I know what you mean. Up. Yeah. But I know what you mean. like the Atlanta plane was all blue. Yeah, okay. You know, okay. my daughter came on that plane. Yeah. She was like, yeah. it was blue as hell. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Like, we came in droves, like sorority yeah. convention. Yes. You go on that plane, yes. and you're like, we gonna go to sorority convention. Everybody else on the plane. Yes, <laughs> that's mm-hmm. what it was. Mm-hmm. And yes. so it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I hope that they do pull up. Yeah. Because I think it'll be a good time, a good showing, and mm-hmm. you know, just mm-hmm. a vibe. Mm-hmm. But we also play NCAT next year, mm-hmm. and you know they roll too. Yeah. I'm ready for that game. I want to go to their homecoming. I want to go to their homecoming. Oh, we should go. Homecoming. Oh, because if you go and talk it, I do want to see it. Y'all, they talk that talk. Come on. Let me see Gio. Let me see what's up. Yeah. yeah I, I, we should go. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 We're Road going. trip. Let's go. Um, so, yeah. So, <laughs> Howard, like I said, was, was really good. Yeah. The vibe. It was just... It was a great vibe. Like, I can't say nothing. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Like I know you're tired, but you I'm tired. You're tired, but you've done no. really fun. Truth is, I'm okay. tired. <laughs> you know, don't sing that part. You seen that video? Okay. There we go. I don't sing that part. I'm ready. <laughs> just yet. Yeah. 
So you no. had fun. I had a good time. Okay. I had a good time. I love it. Yay! What I have on? Naked. You wasn't naked. No. Not what I have on. What you? I was cute though. Clothes. Yeah, I was cute though. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm Perry. Yes. You had a TSU, you had Alpha yes. like you, yeah. Here's how you know it's a vibe. Yeah. I go to the um, Alpha party, right? Yeah, uh-huh. And so, of course, it's our Alphas, and their Alphas mm-hmm. have this joint party. I didn't know it was their Alphas, too. Okay. But, because right. I you saw didn't our know. folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. But either way, mm-hmm. so I'm at the party, and I'm coming out from the bathroom. Yeah. And CeeLo, DJ mm-hmm. CeeLo, mm-hmm. it was like, it's Nessa birthday! <laughs> It is. It Thank is. you. Good. It Shout is. you out. It yes. Is. Yes. Like that, that shows you the kind of environment that it was. Like it's people you know. Yeah, know. Yeah. Like it's not just you know. Yeah. Like yeah. it ain't just some randoms. It's right. people I know and love. Mm-hmm. You know, and that know and love you. Yes. And so and then they hit with the two chains. Can't tell me nothing. Oh Lord, you win again. That's what I do it. Who I do it for? Hey. I was like, this my song. It is. So. I was out there. there I was out there. Yourself. (laughs) So, yeah. Very good. So that tells you the vibe I was on. I'm happy for you. What? Then the next weekend. You was outside. Again. I wasn't planning on going home on Friday. Mm -hmm. I was going to go home Saturday morning. Right. And come right back Sunday morning. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. But I went ahead because I wanted to see my mama. Yes. Check on my mama. Hey, mama. And, hey, mommy. And went home and mm-hmm. saw her and her friends on Friday night mm-hmm. at my auntie's house. So Y'all play Bunko. Bunko. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Bunko crew. Yeah, with the Bunko. Mm-hmm. So um, then Saturday, I had brunch with my cousins, my paternal cousins. Okay. That was hilarious. And the vibe. And they're just... I love them so much. Mm-hmm. And they're like, you got to come next year to the Cousins Weekend. Because I, I typically miss Cousins okay. Weekend. Just because of other obligations yeah. and timing always work out, whatever. And so, I know. Okay. I know. So, we're excited about oh, that. nice. But then we met up for my cousin John's mm-hmm. birthday. Mm. Now, the theme was Carnival. Because, mm. you know, yeah. Louisville. Uh-huh. So, Carnival. Mm-hmm. And so, I had no idea what to expect. I knew it was carnival themed, yeah. so I had one, and I knew it was a fancier affair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a black kind of off-the-shoulder mm-hmm. long gown. Mm-hmm. I have my carnival mask. I'm giving sultry vampire. Mm-hmm. Right? That's what I'm okay, giving. Okay. I'm giving, she might bite you, but you're going to like it. Ooh, you know what I mean? Oh, That's what I'm giving. Hello. Rawr. And so I'm like, okay, okay. And so then we get ready to come in, yeah. and I'm like... <laughs> My stomach growling. Oh, your stomach, my stomach is growling. Me. I'm uh, hungry. My stomach is growling. But um, I'm looking around. I'm like, these are some different type of masks. Hmm. Oh. Like it's a lot of horns. Oh Lord. A okay. See, horns. I missed up. Wait a minute. A lot of horns on stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, the devil. Right? No. Now, mind you, let me tell you. Go back a little okay, bit. Okay. Tell me. On Saturday morning, I went to the church conference with my mama. Amen. So I'm covered by the blood. Jesus. <laughs> mm, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm in the lion's den. Come on, <laughs> so praise him anyhow. <laughs> right, so I'm in there. It's a lot of it's a lot of horns, but okay, we we here. My cousins, all good. You about to be a sacrificial lamb. So then we get into the the room of uh-huh. this hotel, and it's a lovely r- room, like mm-hmm. a speakeasy vibes. Because mm-hmm. I think um, Al Capone once had oh, you know space okay. there, so it's you know a thing. Okay, so yeah. it's like really speakeasy vibes. Yeah. And um, there's ladies there with body paint. And there's, there's people in various forms of undress. Mm, mm-hmm. Again, not shaming. I just didn't know. Right. You know, I just you didn't know. know what it was. I didn't know it was a little Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. Know? Okay. Then there's some Trinidad and Tobago carnival dancers. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then there's a juggler. Mm. <laughs> a juggler. Mm-hmm. And a contortionist. <laughs> okay. And then there was this lady on a leash. <laughs> and I was like, you, see, you need some water. It was BDSM, Carnival, for real. Mm-hmm. Cirque du Soleil. Mm-hmm. And what vampire, uh, eyes wide shut. Eyes wide shut. All so, in one. My cousins and I were joking because we all were together. Yeah. And they were like, 
the baby will come out we out this bitch i said you're right i know that's right <laughs> wait you ain't doing that Mm-mm. the pink cocaine no i ain't doing none of that no 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 i'm drinking old fashions from the black female bartender with the 27 piece that you watch <laughs> right <laughs> make it right she ain't gonna get you because she was looking disgusted by everybody in the room, which I know that's why I liked her. Yeah, I was she like, was like yeah. they doing the most. You can tell, you know, the attitude they doing the most. Doing the most. Oh Lord. yeah. Okay. I was like, she the one. Yeah. She ain't she ain't bought into the bullshit. Right, right, so, right. Yep. We good on she this trip. to do her <laughs> right. job. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna get this money. Yep. I'm gonna tell my friends tomorrow. Guess what I saw? You know. Exactly. So that's mm-hmm. where I was. But mm-hmm. people seem to have a really good time. People themed. <laughs> um, I will say, yeah. like the party was very eclectic. It's a very diverse group of people okay. who were in attendance. Yes. And so the DJ didn't my version of turn up to like the very end. Okay. But guess what she played? What? Two chains. <laughs> All I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. You know that my song? That is your song. <laughs> it's like- is that two chains? Is, it, is it your birthday again? Now I ain't scared no more. Right. Now I'm like, hey, it's just, ask me what I do and who it, I do it for. Hey, I'm in there. <laughs> so. I can't stand you, Nick. <laughs> you just needed that one song. You just there needed one song. Yes. On. Yes. And I'm like, Absolutely. They should not no more than eight. Because we about to dance. Right. Set it out. And okay. Go. Good. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, so happy birthday to your cousin, Jay. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so I, I tired. I tired. Okay. <laughs> you did it, though. I did it. I'm job. proud of you. <laughs> you did it. I did yes. it. It was good to have, like, all that fun. Yeah. I needed to be spaced out. Like, why can't we do one in March and one in April? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm here, I'm like, all right. And then yeah. coming back and doing work. 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 Yeah. And yep. then, like, let me go again. Yeah. <laughs> like, yep. That's what it is. It's a struggle. That's what it is. And picking and choosing. You know, both of us, our social calendars, and we ain't going to everything. I cannot. I texted you last night, like, okay, so this is happening. Are you going to any of this? No. You said no. <laughs> no. I'm going to the store. I'm going to the grocery store. <laughs> the grocery store ain't seen me. Hello. I need to go to the grocery store. Yes. Store. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. And fold these clothes and do some laundry. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, like that level, and that takes time, too. Yes. So, yeah. Yep. yep. So, you, I will tell you, I told you when you got here, I said, well, Faith huh. has a birthday. See her shirt? 1981 on my tickle bitties. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she has a birthday coming ay, up, like ay, in five minutes, ay, right? Ay. And so I get the Evite and um, I like, that was my day. I was going to do nothing. <laughs> and, uh, she, was about to, she was ready to cuss me out yeah. until. Right. I was like, <laughs> But I, I show up for you. I, I love you for that. You on the short list of people I, show I know, up. likewise. Because some people be like, I ain't going to make it, girl. Because we be tired. I'm switching to somebody at Uber Eats Cash App. Here you go, girl. <laughs> the Uber Eats gift card. Me too. Love you. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> right. Throw something on it. Yeah. But Get I will some be there drink. for you yeah. in an outfit. In a body roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. So, yes, by the time you all, when this episode drops, yes. my birthday will have happened already because it's on the 4th. And what? It would have happened already. My birthday. The episode drops on the 5th. It w- this, is, this is growth for you because normally what? birthdays go the entire month of November. Oh, I didn't say it didn't go. The oh, because you said month. it would have passed. And I'm like, even well, back to you saying in the past tense, because normally it's like, it's my birthday. It'd be like December 4th. Like, it's almost over. That's <laughs> Jay-Z's birthday, by the way. But December like, 4th. Yeah. My actual day oh, okay, of birth. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just clarifying for the people. When Dr. Rowe okay. pushed me out. Yes. It's the 4th the of 4th. November. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Feel free to send me well wishes. I accept all things. Not all things. No, you don't. But all good things. <laughs> all things that are done with love. There you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm getting older. I know. Okay. So, you know. Hit him. Wait, should I do where have I been? I don't know where. I've, I've not been anywhere. I need to know where you've been. Where have I been? Sick. Uh, <laughs> well, you were traveling for work. Oh, I did. Tra- oh, y'all, we'll save that segment for another time. Just the things I see in the airport. The airport. You too. Yeah. Like just etiquette, et cetera. I will say one. Well, I did a video on already, so you mm-hmm. can go check. But <laughs> thankfully, the guy, I was on a plane and it wasn't full, but I, I liked the window and it was a guy in the aisle who was very cordial. Like he got on, he spoke. Mm-hmm. We talked a little bit before takeoff. 
Anyway, as it's time to get off, he got into it with another guy who was in the row behind us. And he's like, no, you wait. These people go before us. They're in front of us. And I was like, you better tell them. So, what? I agree with that. Yes. I believe technically we should load the plane from the back to you the front. That. Yes. I also believe that if you're in row 55, why are you standing up when we touch ground? Agreed. You just sit down there. Mm-hmm. Watch your, keep watching your show. <laughs> Check your email. Call yeah, your girl. It's true. It's true. Because you're not getting up You're yet. not getting up. Yeah. However, on yes. my way home, okay. Be this guy, mm-hmm. he said, Excuse me. Mm hmm. I have a connecting flight that I need to get to. Yeah. If you would let me please yeah. get off yeah. before everybody else, I would appreciate it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say this, and <laughs> please don't cancel me over it. <laughs> Our plane was, I'm going to say 85% black because it was TSU. Oh, okay. Home. Okay. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh. And so we were all like, cool. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, the plane on the ground. And, you know, they was like, move expeditiously, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't yeah. be held it up. So yeah. he gets up and he, he makes it on. I can't say for certainty mm-hmm. that other demographics would have been as gracious. True. Because he made the request. Yeah. And we was all like, cool. I feel like it's innate for us. That's a, I, I totally agree with you. If we you are very help, accommodating If you ask people. for help, I'm going to help you if I can help you. We, yeah. You know? We absolutely are. You know? Yeah. But, because yeah. there was one person uh-huh. of a less melanated hue uh-huh. who uh-huh. stood up and his wife was like, yep, sit him down. She was, and he, she, he was like, what? And she was like, sit down. They're going to let me up. Oh, yes. And I, I was like, she, she, yeah. she got the memo. She got the memo. Yeah, yeah. I hope she gets the memo on Tuesday for the vote. And man, all right, we're gonna come back to that. We'll come back. <laughs> so go back. But I did have yes. on the, that same trip, the flight attendant said that there are people who need to make connecting flights because we were a little behind, mm-hmm. and was like, please let them go. So that was made okay. plain wide. Me being me, though, I, I didn't get up. I'm not a get up person like that. But I'm like, well, how do you identify who's telling the truth? That's always on my mind. People be lying. lying. I'm, I hate to say that. I know that's not for me to know or judge, but I'm like, people be lying. Same like, thing some with people the people. Um, people in the wheelchairs. Girl. Some of them they do, really need it. Yes. Some, some folk just want to get on early. But I'm mm-hmm. like, you're getting on early to grab a seat? Yeah. But you still ain't got no leg room? Right. Because <laughs> you can't be on the special aisle because you got the special You needs. can't. Yeah, that's true. So. So, yeah. But they, I'm with you on that. Yeah. But the guy, it was, they were non-melanated, the, the two. So, I was watching. But he was, he was like, you don't get to go yet. And I'm like, you don't. Because <laughs> he going to let me come out because we was nice on the plane to each other. And then he going to go. And that's the role of the person on the aisle. Yes. The person on the aisle's Hold job the line. is to get out, take a slight step back. Yes. So that way the rest of your aisle can get out. Yep. And then you progress forward. Thank it's you. It's good usher etiquette. It is. <laughs> and you are an usher. You are an usher. usher. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, that's what I, I traveled, had some work functions, had a big work party. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you called me. I did. I was like, it's an open bar. <laughs> I'm going to call you back. <laughs> you need to focus. <laughs> you about to mess my, up. I know. Your but I didn't go ham. Some people do, though. Girl. I know you've seen it. I'm like, this is still a work function. So my company, as you yeah, know, has yeah. a very really extensive retreat. Yeah. And um, people are like, no, it's really just low key and chill. But in a new location, I don't. Right. Trust Absolutely. And believe. Yeah. And so. Even the first night of the, you know, party, yeah. it wasn't crazy, but still, like, I drank my one drink super slow, mm-hmm. chased it with some water, yeah. and then the next day, I wanted to see how people mm-hmm. reacted mm-hmm. to those who had more to drink, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then I thought it was really chill. I was like, oh, okay, then y'all meant it. Yeah. But yeah. I yeah. got to get the lid of the land first. Good, good. <laughs> no, tell me mm-hmm. it's all good. I'm out here doing uh, cash money with a 99 2000. And then I'm in HR on Monday. I'm all right, that. we're not doing that. <laughs> not doing yeah, that. Not to get me. Mm-mm. So yeah, so. I traveled, work party, got sick. Got sick once a year. Sinus infection. Y'all. I get it it's twice. The worst. You I get a like, fall and a um spring. <sighs> I get fall. It is the worst. I felt fine and then I didn't. <laughs> and I'm and like, it, what it is just this? gets you right. And you be like, 
Oh, it got me. It got me. <laughs> yeah. like I'm, and we our whole life yeah. fighting not to get good. And so I done ordered all the stuff, all the supplements. All, thank you for checking. I mean, they just yes, checked on me. Thank I you. I did. All the supplements, the soups, the juice, the ugh. so. I need to go and get my airborne, my damn self. I'm yes, here playing. I got my airborne too. I need to get I'll it. I keep that. So yeah, but I have a birthday. Yes, yes. I'm very excited. Okay. This year's theme is 43 and Me. I'll be 43 because it rhyme. I know it's DNA, but I, unless y'all got something different, I'm open. I didn't know what to think. I'm open. Was 43 and Me. No, oh, it wasn't. but I'm thing. calling like that's my hashtag. Oh, okay. It's forty three and me. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and you all know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I do not wait for the new year to start new things. Correct. I start on my birthday, so I that's started my new some year. new stuff November first. Yes. Yeah, see, yeah. so whenever you do, but you don't have to wait till the end no. of December. So for me, my birthday is my new You're year. Reset. Yeah. So I. New the word new has been been in my spirit a lot Come too lately. On, new, new. So it really you has. Rock the new new. Uh, yes. So I do like I have a song that's usually something that I carry throughout the year. Last year was little things in the diary. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm looking. I'm I'm excited. Good. Forty three and me. So um, <laughs> yes. I ain't gonna say their name, but the person I know is doing the dry November, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Are you doing the dry November?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> that's where that old fashioned taste right that yeah. ain't my issue <laughs> no yeah um but i don't my november's not reductive mm-hmm. my november's additive mm. and so for me it's like october yes i had tons of fun yeah, yeah but i also didn't have no rest right and so i'm like okay what do i need to do to you know what do i need to add back yes to finish this year strong yeah, yeah. um and so that's kind of been my whole thing for I November. Like that. I'm proud of you. Thank y'all. You know what else? What? For my birthday, I want y'all to go vote. Oh Lord. Yeah, that's that's the gift I want. So you ready? You want to segue? Our political correspondent, <laughs> Nasa Taylor, has joined the chat. <laughs> Hold up. Go vote and dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you for watching. Go vote. (laughs) No. So you'll be listening to this on election day. Yeah. I hope you're listening to it while you're waiting in line. Yes. Um, Stay in line. Because like (laughs) most places, check your own election officials. Yep. But most places, if you are in line, even when polls close, you still get to vote. Don't let nobody tell you you don't get to vote. Mm -hmm. If you get there and there's something hinky going on, in most places, you could ask for provisional ballots or ask for a supervisor or manager to walk Mm -hmm. you through it. Mm -hmm. If that does not work, there are phone numbers of poll watchers who will help you exercise your right to vote. We'll make sure to put those out there. Exactly. The numbers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I honestly don't know. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And the reason I don't know is because for some reason in America right now, two plus two does not equal four. No. And I keep seeing people say things about the Democratic candidate. And they're like, she's inarticulate. What? Okay. Okay. I don't even want to entertain that. No, what? but like, yeah, people, like this re- is a real yeah, argument. Yeah, real people, yeah. And I'm like, uh-huh. Cheeto stood up there and swayed for 30 minutes and then had not one word. Jesus. All he says is big mm-hmm. and bigly. Mm-hmm. That ain't really no word either. Mm-hmm. But but mm-hmm. she's inarticulate. Yeah. Then we hear about the code switching. Well, she speaks one way here and speaks one way there. I speak one way here. Come on. And speak differently at work. Yeah, absolutely. And speak even differently with my friends. Absolutely. Yeah. But because you don't have to code switch. Right. You don't know how to do that. Understand the nuance of that. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now. Anybody black, brown, immigrant is code switching. Come on. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Period. Point blank. Yeah. Unless you know? your tab, who's she's been delivered from that, which is good. True, but, but I know also she her brand. Yeah, she did it for a long time. She did, but she amassed enough money and status That's not to do thing. that anymore. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm the majority like, of us, we ain't there. <laughs> come on now. Yeah, we're switching. Exactly. We all do it. Mm-hmm. I'm at work. 
Seriously? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a great idea. Girl, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Her my last email. <laughs> That's yes. amazing. Let me follow up with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I'm going to circle back. I'm corporate Aaron. Oh my gosh. Like, I get, oh my gosh, right. so much. Let me get my and, hair done. Oh my gosh. And how's your puppy? I'll give that with your damn puppy. I'll give not one damn but your shit with your puppy. Right, but you have to. Right, but let me engage so I can be the likable black lady. Yep, the pets, the family. How's little Bobby? Right. How's the soccer game? Case in point. Yeah. Company potluck. Mm -hmm. Sure, it was wonderful. If you're my coworker, you should probably just stop right now. Go vote, and I'll see you on... (laughs) All right, I'm gonna drink some on water. Wednesday. Mm. No, I'll see you on Thursday. I'm actually mm. off on Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah. we have a corporate potluck, mm. and a lot of places have potlucks mm-hmm. for mm. for holidays. Mm-hmm. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you know me, my potluck. I know. I don't like potlucks. Not just you. I know. No, it's yeah, a cultural thing. Hello, we're not really potluck people. No, because <laughs> we what ain't been to your yes. house, and you might be nasty. And I know you got pets. You got pets. <laughs> they on the counter. They in the sink. They in your bed. You kiss them in the mouth. You are nasty. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Exactly. Oh, it's all of it. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so I, look, and you might have amazing hygiene in your kitchen. Yes. But I have not personally witnessed it. Exactly. So therefore, <laughs> it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm so serious about that. It doesn't exist. And so, um, yeah. but I know that you have to be a team player. You do. So I had Maya bake some cookies and I dropped them off early. Mm-hmm. So therefore, my food is down there yeah. for the thing. Yes. And then I go upstairs. I didn't even come downstairs with Butler. I didn't do no lap. You didn't let him see your face in that. Okay. The cookies. The cookies was there. were there. That's they your representative. The I got gotcha. you. And then I got me some lunch later on. <laughs> I know that's right. Oh, I know that's right. Because I was like, and then you know that story recently about that plant? Yes. And like 40 people got sick. Yes. Talking about the plant. No, it's not. It's the potluck it's lady. It's the potluck. Yeah, the fact, I'm just going to, for me, I'm speaking for me. The fact that y'all still do potlucks is crazy to me. I will say, at my job, and there's one part. Catering. <laughs> hello, there's one person in particular who spearheaded this, and she's not melanated, but truly in COVID, she's like a germaphobe. So once we came back, she's like, "We're catering." So every whatever we've had has been catered by a professional caterer, you know. And we even take then, food courses, yes, and food safety courses. So yeah, and look, I know we can't know what every caterer. No, doing. we don't. You know, we however, don't. comma. Yeah, I am hoping that you get your food safe certification. Yeah, and that little ninety plus yes. on the health inspection. Yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna trust it because you ain't gonna health inspection score at your kitchen. Oh, you don't. You don't. You don't. Mm-mm. So yeah, we we tend to our stuff is catered. Yeah. We every now and then people do bring things in. Again, to share. I don't know yeah. who might be listening, but yeah, I just you know. It's, here's the deal it's there if you have something that you want to share I've done it I've like yes. I'm a, I, I stopped by the Dunkin and got these little donut See, holes Dunkin. now I typically get donuts when I'm running behind right. so that way you bring, you bring your food uh-huh. people ain't worried about you being late they're not that's <laughs> but, true so put that in your back pocket yeah. look like the little me uh huh uh huh yeah <laughs> so mm-hmm. but I, I'll do something like that still from a right. uh, Kitchen. Right. Yes. You know. Yep. It is nah. very rare that I'm making something to bring to the office. <laughs> right. Like I made this eggplant parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> or it's always I had. Oh, this is my favorite. I had a party. Yeah. And I'm gonna bring in the leftovers that your friends done picked over for four hours at your party. That what no ice. Nace is preaching, y'all. I hope you're writing notes. Are you gonna bring it in for me? To eat? Yep. That happens with me too. To get mm-hmm. to kill me? No, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm know. okay. No, thank you. I'm okay. No, no, <laughs> no thank, thank you. you. No, thank, no you. thank you. Now, I have a friend who <sighs> actually <laughs> won his chili cook off last oh. week. Shout out to the person. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he made chili, ate his chili. I know that's right. But he won. Didn't eat nobody else's chili. I know. <laughs> He's like, I like my chili. Hello. <laughs> You know exactly. what goes into it. Exactly. Yeah. And one. I said, you better be great. Game Let the me. system. R.I.P. to Miss Rhonda. Rest her soul. Oh, home. she was the best. We both work with Miss Rhonda. She yes. was the best receptionist. Mm-hmm. And just overall, 
just wonderful woman. Good, good woman. Yes. Good woman. Great woman. And she was our watchful eye because we at that potlucks were still a thing for sure. There, COVID hadn't happened. Yep. People weren't thinking, obviously. Of course. And she would tell us, Mm-mm, you don't want to eat that. <laughs> You'd be in the line. You'd be in the line and you would look at it. Exactly. You would look at it. She'd shake her head. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because they have to come by her. Right. Right. And she knew everybody and who brought the food. So yeah. you get the next one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Got it. She Miss Rhonda knew. You'd be like, all right, now. Oh, can I? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. I'm going to just get these crispy cookies. Because a little crispy cookie, a little, a little honey baked ham. Right, because you knew where it came. Like, but she <laughs> tell you in a heartbeat. God, shout out to the Miss Rondas of the world. We thank you. You are needed. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they got on the same way. I don't either. But, but we're um, here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the code switching, code switching, yes, yes. and all the things. Pop. So bring us back to the election. Come on, <laughs> come back. on back. Yes. I just don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like people are like, oh, it's so close, it's so close. I don't. Yeah, I don't even understand. I don't get that. Mm-hmm. 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 And so, even. oh, look at the camera. I know. Uh-huh. This is this is my issue. Yeah. So, as a people, we are always on guard mm-hmm. against extremists, right? right? Yeah. Um, in the past. I'm going to say since actually 9-11, where there's been a lot of talk about Muslim extremists Mm -hmm. and the radicalization Mm -hmm. of individuals by way of the internet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's been a lot of talk about, you know, how do you safeguard your children Mm -hmm. and fact check Mm -hmm. things and make sure you're not on the dark web so your kids are in the rabbit hole, you know, all these things. And so we're safeguarded against Muslim extremists. Hmm. But we did not safeguard against extremists. That part. And so yeah. it feels like some members of the GOP saw the success rate of the conversion of people from curious about, you know, equality throughout the world and, mm-hmm. and how they were able to convert them into Muslim extremists, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. by fear mongering, yeah. hate mongering, all that, and said, hold my beer. Hmm. Let me create a curriculum, yeah. a playbook, uh-huh. and use those same tactics yeah. and then call it Make America Great Again. Mm-hmm. So I'm not calling it extremism. Right, right. I'm not calling it cult behavior. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling it patriotism giving it a new name right same same i'm calling it nationalism though. yeah 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 i'm not calling it xenophobia right right i'm calling it america calling first it something else exactly yeah and so <laughs> and i'm like how y'all don't see that though they don't people like, see how what do you not see, see that people see what they want to see so and i think we have to do a better job of calling a thing a thing yeah but like I was raised Catholic. Mm-hmm, right. The Crusades mm-hmm. are people invade another country, kind of force them to convert, and also take over their land. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So land grab mm-hmm. and really hard conversion th- therapy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, either you yeah. convert, you die. You yeah, know? pretty much. Um, yeah. It it was terrorism. Yeah, absolutely. You know, people mind in their business. Where you come from? Like the just, conquistadors, yeah, are terrorists. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you can be in your home country, like oh, they're they're explorers. But on the flip side, be like, no, mm-hmm. the people who lived there already, like, no, y'all terrorists. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, and there's so many other examples of yes. that throughout yeah. history, yeah. right? Yeah. Of Things that were taught that they're explorers. Right. When you explore, you explore with a gun for personal safety. Yes. And you are looking at the fauna. Yeah. And the flora. Yes. Yeah. When you explore to take over territory. Yep. That's called terrorism. Mm-hmm. Colonialism. Yeah. Imperialism. Right. A lot of isms. Yeah. But yeah. it's not just I'm gonna walk in the woods. No, exactly. You know? And respecting other cultures and wanting to learn exactly. from them. No, you came to take over. Gentrification. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> in some instances, can be urban terrorism. You don't respect the people mm-hmm. that are there. Mm-hmm. We expect them to conform to you. Some people yeah. bought the condos downtown, then complain about the noise downtown. Yep. You bought a condo, condo downtown. downtown. What did you expect? <laughs> That's not going to change because And the difference there. is, y'all came in, you were young, y'all was kicking it, but yep. now you got a little older, you got a kid now, yeah. they got a bedtime, so yep. now you mad about the noise. Yep. Well, baby, Absolutely. you need to move. You need to move. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? So, yeah. I understand all these things, but I don't understand how they can't see it. Mm. Mm. And that, to me, is willful ignorance. Agreed. It's willful They don't want to see it. Yeah. You watch Avatar. Yeah. And you, on the side of the blue people, because you don't want the big bad guys with the guns and blah, blah, Girl. blah, blah, blah. But you're doing the same shit. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. You know? It's very willful. Ignorance. Yeah. Elemental. All the elements live together in harmony, but they really didn't. They didn't like the fire people. But then at the end, they yeah. all can live together. They can live together. Can they Williamson County? Mm. Listen. Can they? I know. And I think that's the part that pisses me off. I saw this um, I'm on a tangent. Sorry. I know. We, this is good. Okay, we're going to bring I, it back home. I know. But okay. I saw this woman, um, black female, yeah. Gen Xer. And yeah. they asked, you know, why are you so mad? Mm. Because you're the first generation of integration, right? I am. Mm-hmm. You know, my mm-hmm. mother went to segregated schools. Mm-hmm. I did not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen one right here. Good, here you you go. know? Yeah. And her answer was great. She was like, because y'all lied to us. Mm. Mm-hmm. I went to school with you. Yeah. You heard the same stories I did. Yeah. You said, I will never do that. <laughs> and I'll be on the side of X, Y, and Z. And, and you're my friend. And lies. And then you got half a modicum of power and turned right into your grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. You turn into a racist, mm-hmm. misogynist mm-hmm. person who believes that power is finite. Yep. So you ask me why I'm mad. It's because yeah. you lied to me. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I was taught that I could do anything. I was taught that I could be anything. Be anything. I was yeah. taught that equality matters. I was taught that yeah. good people matter. Yeah. You do good, you know. Now, yeah. you still got to do twice as good to go half as far. Yeah, yeah. That's still also true. True. But I was taught that that, that yeah. if I keep pushing, yeah. mm-hmm. we can all get there together. Mm-hmm. That's simply not the case. And yeah. y'all take one person crossing the finish line mm-hmm. as... Oh, well, everything's good now. Yeah. No, one person crossed the finish line and y'all closed the door real quick behind them. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. So help me understand, yeah. you know? Because I still have first. It's yeah. It's crazy to me for black people, especially yes. in this country. Yes. The first this, the first. I'm like, R- really? Wow. Okay. Huh. So <laughs> all that to say yes. that when you're in the voting booth. Yeah. I will ask you this one question to consider. Well, actually, probably buy more than one. But number one, how do you want history to remember you? Mm-hmm. When you look back on that moment as you're pushing your button, are you going to be on the side of right? Yeah. Or not? And are you okay with that? Yeah. True. There are people right now who are in lynching photos looking up at the lynched person. And I'm hoping that at this big age, they're not feeling okay with the fact that they were there. Yeah. How are you going to feel? Mm-hmm. you know number two is in 20 years what is your grandchild going to say about the work you did today yeah that's what I want to know your legacy right mm-hmm. it's not only for me right I'm protecting my grandkids mm-hmm. I'm protecting my nieces and nephews I'm protecting yeah. people who are yet to come that aren't yet here yeah. yep. and either this democratic experiment's going to fall yeah because empires fall mm-hmm. empires fall mm-hmm Either we're going to fall. Yeah. Or we're going to say we're better than that and be better than that and vote for democracy to reign again. We can't be that shining beacon on a hill, but a tyrant at the helm. True. So when you ask yourself, how did Hitler come to power? When you ask yourself, how do these things happen? Mm-hmm. Make sure you make sure you take your culpability in that. Yeah. Yes. Because if you're ushering in Cheeto, right, then you're no different then, than the Germans who did nothing. Uh-huh. Yep. That was right, drop the it. mic on that one. That's all I got. I will add <laughs> voting plan. What does that look like for you? If you didn't early vote, or if you're you're in a state where that's not a thing, um, 
what is your voting plan? Do you need a ride? Do you know how to get to your voting location? Do you know your voting location? Go ahead. I hope you have those things as you're, you know, you're listening to this. I hope you're in the right place. Um, Again, as Nasa said, if you are in line, stay in line. If there's an issue, call the number, which I'll put it in the caption when I cut this. But there are numbers, there are people, advocates there to help. Like, do not be moved. Do not let people deter you. Go ahead and cast your ballot. So if if you, again, if you need a ride, if you know people that, that need a ride to the poll and you're able to help them, do so. I know mom signed up to be a poll watcher. Mm-hmm. Like, typically she hadn't, but it's perfect for her. She's retired, you know, but yeah. she actually, she did the training and she going to go watch the polls and make sure ain't no foolishness. Right. So, you know what I mean? But yeah. Tennis shoes. Bottled Be water. Comfortable. If you know you have mobility issues, yes. make sure you get your little lawn chair. You can just take a yes. truck with you yep. to sit in as yep. you wait in that line. Because yeah. we know presidential elections lines are long. Are long, yeah. So make sure you don't have yeah. on any campaign gear when you yes. go vote. Don't get put yep. out for some monkiness since right. you got on a, a shirt. You try yeah. to commemorate the moment. No, you just showed on with your stick at the house. Yeah, you but, can't have any of the candidates or right. your body, your clothing, a hat, exactly. a shirt. You can't wear any of that. Yeah. Um, your meds if you are somebody you need meds if you need a little snack you know I like cheese it's girl yeah have your snacks with you and if you do have mobility issues or someone you know, if you're older you can talk to a poll worker and typically they can work with you to kind of move you closer to the front of the line um the poll where I voted they have an ADA entrance even okay so they're yep. like you know yeah. hey, you can just slide onto the front so yeah yeah, yeah. So utilize the that. resources and be prepared have your phone charged up yes and if you see craziness going on, yeah. report it. Yep. Report it. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, don't think, oh, somebody else got it. No, you report it. Yeah. Document it and report it. Yep. Um, I think people think about, you know, election tampering and all that thing. You know, yeah. they have these scandal, Shonda Rhimes as yeah, visions yeah, of that. Yeah. And normally it's one person doesn't understand, uh-huh. you know, or somebody yeah. who thought that they could and couldn't. Yeah. Like here in Tennessee. Yeah. You can have your voting rights. No, you can have your voting rights return. But if you haven't had your gun rights returned, you can't exactly. vote. Mm. What does one have to do with the other? Exactly. That makes no sense. Right. It's yeah. yet another poll tax. Another poll tax. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why can't I vote for people? Yeah. I might not ever own a gun. Right. Yeah. I do, though. Yeah, but. <laughs> you don't want to smoke. But I might not ever own a gun. Yeah. So why does that impact mm-hmm. this? Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. But is it yet another poll tax? Yes. Yep. Also, too, pay attention to. The other issues that are on the ballot, your local matters, you know, here we yeah. have transit. The transit. So hopefully you you did your due diligence. If you are happen to be standing in a long line right now, look that up, you know, look up who the other people are that may be running for state house or Senate. Look at their voting record. All this stuff is public is what we're saying. Do the research. Do the research. And, Do the research. And yeah, vote accordingly on the right side of history what nasa said that's all i got i didn't cough go ahead you didn't i didn't okay okay so <laughs> look after you go vote yeah you finish this podcast yes hit us up share your i voted stickers we want to yeah, see them we do. so populate the thread with the i voted stickers so we can see and join in this moment i already did mine because right, we, did, we did uh, and you can cash at me too because it's my birthday I'm joking. I know people she do that. She ain't joking. No, I really am joking. I don't. I, people do that. It's not really my thing. But that part. She ain't going to send it back. You send it to her, though. <laughs> that part. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't just say. I, yes. I think it's kind of tacky. I, I do, too. I I people do it. Cars, and I'm just you like, do you. It's your own thing. All right. But, um, yeah. yeah, I don't do that. Like, okay. Likewise. Right. So, yeah. But if you happen to send it to me, I'll say thank you. I will say thank you, mm-hmm. especially if you're from New York with a beard and some and, Tims and some Tims and a bubble coat. Maybe say ma. Yeah, <laughs> I know she got it tight. Okay, love y'all. Anything? Oh, where can they find us, Nace? You can find us everywhere you want to be, like the Visa card. Hey, no, you can find us on IG, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify itunes and tiktok so find us on all the platforms like subscribe and share get Boom. the merch Boom. on goladiespodcast.com and um exercise your right to vote yeah 
God willing, we'll be back again next week. If we're not in the handmaid's tale. All right. Mm, On that note. <laughs> okay. Well, um, love you. Be safe. Be kind. Yeah. Be blessed. All right. Bye. Happy birthday. Thank you. All I want for my birthday is, is a big booty up. up. That's true. <laughs> I got you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs>